Make it as strong as possible. This isn't what we agreed to. Relax. You can handle it. <clears throat> Mr. Silas, I think there's another reason why she can't resonate. You see, her evol is special. It utilizes the waves generated by the human brain's magnetic field. Maybe her brain's magnetic field produces repulsive waves against you. That's why she can't resonate with you. Get to the point. To make a long story short, on a subconscious level, she's either rejecting you, scared of you, or, uh, disgusted by you. Even if she undergoes alteration, you won't be able to resonate with her so long as she's still hostile toward you. And Mr. Silas, if the alteration fails, she will be completely ruined. We need to address the cause first. Which means there's something wrong with her. You let go of me! By the way, I have an evolve stabilizer in the storage cabinet. I'll make her use it. Right now, you need to stay calm, miss. The N109 zone is a chaotic place, and you have a part of an ether core. Accompanying him is the safest option. I recognize that proto curve. Monitoring ether cores used to be my job. The N109 zone is a mess right now. An outsider like you who's unfamiliar with the details can easily lose her life. Sticking with Silas might not be a bad idea. Better to be with him compared to some other people. <sighs> You're just not used to the darkness yet. There are predators lurking in these depths that you haven't seen. You say Silas is heartless. But sometimes, those with hearts are even crueler than those without. There's nothing wrong with your evil. The energy of the ether core inside you is also stable. Have you figured out what you'll do next? Well, if all goes well for you and whatever happens, then I can say I've repaid Miss Josephine's kindness.
Would you like to buy a flower, miss? Would you like a gun, bullets, or a protocoy then? I have them all. <laughs> That's easy. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 